Good morning, my dear students. Today I am taking chapter eight, that is exploring internet. In today's class, I am going to start with e-commerce definition and modes, and I am going to wind up with e-commerce ethics and sites. Exploring internet. Internet is a very important medium to receive and send the information. It is a network that helps the society to connect together across the globe. We have already learned certain uh, some uses of internet in your previous classes. Now we are going to discuss some more uses of internet. Commerce. It is associated with trading and it is a process of buying and selling of products and services between the people this is how we define the term commerce now we have few people which are involved in commerce and we have the uh, there are three different types of people which are involved in the activity of commerce and they are producers sellers and buyers now who are producers sellers and buyers producers are the people who produces various types of items or provide services and sellers are the people who sell items and services to the people. And buyers, obviously, these are the people who buy or purchase products and services. We can take an example like a farmer. He produces vegetables and a shopkeeper in your colony sells these vegetables and we buy them. So, Farmer is a producer, shopkeeper is the seller and we are the buyers of those vegetables. Now you can see I have, uh, you can see this uh, figure, people, those who are involved in commerce, they are the producers, sellers and buyers. Now we talk about e-commerce. E-commerce is electronic commerce. It is the term that refers to the process of buying and selling of goods and services online using the net and for that we have many websites so that we can make use of these uh, websites to buy and sell the goods and services. Now we are going to talk about modes of e-commerce. We have the following modes of e-commerce. The first one is business to business. Next is consumer to business and we have business to consumer. Now, business to business, it is also known as B2B. It refers to the company that buys or sells products and provides services from one or to the other companies. Consumer to consumer, it involves individuals who are in the business of buying and selling. Next is your business to consumer. It is known as B2C and uh, consumer to consumer is known as C2C. Business to consumer, it involves a company with a website of its products or services and this company is involved in the process of selling of its products or services directly to the consumer. So, directly the consumers get the benefit. Now, we also have a term here, digital middleman. It means a company that is involved in the process of providing information about the various companies on a single website. But these companies charge a commission amount on every sale or purchase made through these websites. Now we have few benefits of e-commerce. Now what are the benefits of e-commerce? Like going to the showrooms or shops is not required. Means we can sit at home and we can uh, shop whatever we want. So uh, we don't have to go to the particular shop or a showroom. Next is that we don't have to carry the cash in hand. Third one is services of salesmen are not required to search for an item. We don't need anybody. We can scroll. We can see. We can browse. According to that, we can order the uh, uh, product, whatever we want. So, the services of salesmen is not required. Then, uh, another very important benefit, you may say that there is no time or place foundation. Means... You can sit anywhere and you can purchase anytime. Next is that we can save our money. And the last one is that 
small businessman can make huge profits by establishing online business and we have uh, very good examples nowadays you all must be uh, even uh, taking benefits through amazon on flipkart so these are the two examples uh, and uh, festive time is there so most of you must have uh, taken advantages or have shopped from these two websites amazon and flipkart and there are many more also now the things come how can we do the payment electronic data interchange as it is known as EDI, it is the term which is used for the system of accepting payments for online transaction. And these payment systems include credit, debit and charge cards also. Mobile payments, e-cash and e-checks are also becoming popular nowadays and these are the mode of payments for online shopping. Now, I am going to tell you about e-commerce sites and ethics. There are many websites which are available on online shopping and the process is very convenient and easy also but there are fraud sites also. Uh, sometimes they cheat also. So whenever we are doing it or in fact you are doing it you should always take the help of your elders and they should always check about the authenticity of the website whether the website is genuine or not. Uh, it's not a, not a bad idea so that uh, you should not be cheated. Now there are so many e-commerce sites. Online purchase, I have already given you so many examples. And uh, beside that we also have Mantra, Alibaba, eBay. So this is all about today's uh, uh, lecture. I am winding now. Thank you.